Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games So Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we will be unboxing Hidden Leaders. So let me get it out. But that's it, just a small box. And then some bubble wrap. There we go. Oh. So I am quite excited about this game because I don't own any social deduction games. Uh, so yeah, very interested about this. Okay, so let's first take a look. Uh, so obviously this is the box in leaders by the artist by Satoshi Matsuda. It doesn't say who designed it, or at least not yet. Uh, 10 plus, 30 minutes, two to six people by BFF Games. I like their, uh, their logo. And the art is pretty cool and funny. Hidden leaders. Okay. So here, the emperor is dead. Two rivals at war. Okay. So the Kickstarter edition is also mentioned. And yet it doesn't say who designed it. Okay. Maybe it's inside. We'll see. All right, just says published and created by BFF Games. All right, let's open it. I think there might be art inside the box, but I'm not sure. No, I'm wrong. Okay, let's take a look at the rules. There we go. The quality of the rulebook is really nice. It's a uh, special paper. It's not your usual paper. It looks nice and clear. But of course you never know with rulebooks until you actually start playing the game. I hope it works with two players because of the uh, current uh, pandemic. It might be a little bit more difficult to play with more. Okay, summary at the back. Always nice. All right, what's, what else is in here? A uh, little bit like this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this will, the insert will be gone eventually. So this is a folded board. There we go. Right. I hope this won't get too much wear and tear after a while. Then we have one punch board. Five, six, seven, eight. Yep. There we go. So we can really toss this. We have a baggie, which we'll use later. We have the two tokens that we also saw in the rule book. There we go. Like this and like this. And they are printed on both sides, which is always good. And then we have these set of cards, or this set of cards. So the backs are all the same. You can see the art is really nice. Really cool art. I wonder if I have sleeves for these though, because they, they seem very thin and long. Okay. And we have these, is it easy to open? Yes it is, on the side. Okay, so let's look at the cards. You can see they all have the same backs. So we have Shaky Sharpshooter, Depressed Druid, which is awesome already, <laughs> Blind Eye Collector, Hairy Hermit, <laughs> Long Eared Loner, Saber Toothed Troll, Potato Privateer, Spirit Shaman, Shaman, Grumpy Guard, Overworked Amazon, Hangry Barbarian, Joyless Chief, Battle Pet Master, oh look it's the Crackalope, Curious Troll, Pigmented War Pig, Bored Goblin, Curious Cat Lover, and Watchful Witch. Okay, so those are all one faction, this is another one. The Short Sighted Soldier, Doubtful Priest, Underestimated Squire, Flailing Knight, Underpaid Mercenary, <laughs> Hardbending Bard, 
Modest Monster Slayer, okay. Ace Fighter, Battle Connoisseur, Canned Champion, Nagging Northman, Almost Evil Scholar, <laughs> Almost Evil, Well-Aged Warrior, Androgynous Assassin, Groggy Preacher, Queer Quartermaster, Angry Priestess, Resilient Rear Guard. Okay, and then we have the Arrogant, <laughs> Arrogant, oh, Skeleton, Unconfident Executioner, Ghastly Granny, Rotting Orangutan, Half-Headed Wizard, Nightmarish Northman, Half-Eaten Bull, okay then, Gorgeous Gorgon, and Crow Carrier. And they continue with this stack of cards. Insidious Impaler, Lethargic Leech, Will Bending Witch, Resurrected Ram, Mummy Mystic, Naughty Necromancer, Sunshy Skeleton, Wrapped Warrior, Slaughtered Slime. And then we have another faction, the Pessimistic Whaleman, Tentacled. Tentacled Oracle, Drowned Deserter, Deep Sea Squire, Vegetarian Shark Guard, Double Shield Turtle, Leary Lizard, Furious Frog, Apathetic Water Priest, Hopeful Salamander, Keen Koi, Triple Sword Lizard, <laughs> pretty cool, Saltwater Sage, Miniature Merman, Krill Keeper, Aimless Eel, Bludgeoning Blowfish, Friendly Frog Mage, Buried Emperor, Gambling Overseer, Goblin Cryptographer, Careless Cryptographer, Underwater Artist, and then we have some more leaders, I guess, because these go together, right? Yeah. Lemron the Wise, Sira the Righteous, Mirad the Banished, Jadul the Cunning, Pavir the Opportunist, and Ened the Innocent. Then we have some game end cards, eight, seven, depending on the amount of players, six, six. Win conditions, they are, so these are two uh, player aids basically, so win conditions that you see. Icon overview as well that you have here, and then you have the turn overview and icon overview. Okay, and then we have one more, well, one small thing left to look at, which is the Queens and Friend expansion pack containing 18 cards, limited edition. Uh, you can see it here. I can open it like this. Doesn't matter if I tear it because it will go in the box anyway. Ah, and it has plastic, and it's one of those annoying plastics that you cannot just tear off. So, okay, so it has here rule clarifications, the abilities of the queens, the best friend, and the keeper of discord cannot be copied, and so on. There's one rule reference card, and then there's four special ones, and then all these normal ones. So, let's take a look at the four special ones first. So we have the Hill Tribes, destroy the oppressor and dance with the oppressed. So you can see you have to be at least two steps ahead of the Imperial Army. Okay. Ah, and these four, these five, actually, you can turn it into a portable board, as you can see here. So then you can just uh, have a just a deck of cards and play anywhere. It replaces the board. So Hill Tribes, Imperial Army, also shows you where you have to be. The Undead, where you have to be. Water folk, queens and friend. That is uh, something different than these. Okay, and then we have the people, the polar protector, <laughs> firm firm fishmonger, the sanguine scholar, well shaved wizard, hmm. half sliced ghoul, kind kingslayer, careful chameleon, seaweed cutter. Emperor's best friend, Queen of the Wild, well-funded queen, Queen of the Streets, and Keeper of Discord. 
Oh, I made it important. I did tear it up and I'm still going to throw it away. <laughs> but you do have some stuff in here. The dynasties of, of Oshra. The emperor might have been a famous wartime hero and a charismatic ruler in times of crisis, but in Oshra, true power lies with the queens. These traditional rulers have earned respect and trust of their supporters over generations and confirm it every day. They will make sure that their children are first in line when the struggle for the throne of Oshra begins. So basically, this is the family tree uh, where everybody comes from. Uh, there you go. So I guess that's you know, interesting. Good to know. So just so you know, if you want to keep it, you can just put it in the box. I think it fits, kind of. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. I'll just keep it anyway. This is a reference if people want to know. Okay. All right. And that is it. That is a complete unboxing of uh, Hidden Leaders. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you like this, please do consider subscribing because it helps a lot. And uh, yeah, my name was Joachim. This was so many games all the time. And I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.